hi everyone welcome to a new video first off i just want to say thank you so so much for all of your kindness and support on our previous video your positivity and words of congratulations mean so so much to us both myself and ben have read through all of the comments since the video has gone live and it's really nice to know that you're excited along with us and that even a lot of you share the same dream that we had. If you didn't see the video and the news, Ben and I bought a farm in the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds is your idyllic English countryside with the yellow stone buildings, the quaint gardens and hills, fields, everything that you imagine when you close your eyes and picture England. That's the Cotswolds. Having a farm and having land is honestly the epitome of a dream come true. We're just so, so excited and it's such a pleasure to be able to share this journey with you. Um, and I'm going to give you an update today. By the way, I didn't mean to like hype up the announcement or the reveal as much as I inadvertently did. I was so excited in the beginning when I knew that we were buying the farm that i was sharing kind of like my excitement and yeah i probably should have kept quiet for a little bit longer because i didn't realize how many delays there would be in buying a farm especially during covid and there were also things that we had to do after the sale that needed to be done before i could share this publicly and then it was right before christmas and i was taking time off for christmas and to work on all the things that i needed to do for the farm and the whole projects surrounding that which I'll get into in a minute. Anyway, I'm really happy to be back now and I'm so happy to be sharing the journey from now with you. My goal in this video is to answer some of your questions and bring you up to speed with everything that's going on, give you the lowdown of what you need to know so that everything moving forward will make sense because I know I didn't really go into detail of anything in the previous video because it was meant to be a standalone announcement and i just kind of wanted to share the news and then talk about the specifics later because there's a lot so we primarily bought this farm for the land and the incredible views that came along with it we're so lucky to have many acres many fields and fantastic views all around we are really lucky to have multiple barns throughout the property which is really exciting because that means that we have an opportunity to renovate those or build on the footprint. We are not looking at getting any animals currently because as you'll see, we have a lot on our hands already, but it's definitely, definitely something that we'll consider in the future as soon as we can. I know chickens would be easiest at first, so potentially them to start off with, and it would be an absolute dream dream someday to have horses like it literally brings a tear to my eye like imagining having my own horses and by the way i did not grow up with horses i don't know how to horseback ride but it is something that i will be learning to do as soon as i possibly can our main focus at the moment is renovating and landscaping the property stepping on a roller coaster going down but i never felt this high biggest ride of the century it's very much a farm we bought it as an agricultural property so it's not built up at all and there's plenty of room to put our mark on it so the main building which you would have seen a glimpse of the courtyard in the last video is a beautiful cotswold limestone barn conversion and if you don't know what a barn conversion is i actually didn't know what it was until i moved here it was originally a barn to house animals in um, ours was specifically a dairy barn i believe it then gets converted into a living space a house they're often characterized with beautiful big open spaces open concept really high ceilings and trusses which we have all of those things so part of our barn conversion used to be the original dairy barn that would have been on the farm and i think it dates back to 150 maybe 200 years ago so this right here you can see the separation this is the original dairy barn wall here and then this is the new um, extension that's been built off of it there is some history in our barn which is great but it was recently extended and made into the shape with the courtyard that it is now it was expanded into two separate dwellings so we have the main part of the barn conversion 
and an annex or an apartment. So there's two different living spaces within the one barn conversion. And you may have seen from the clip that's included in my last video that the barn conversion is a big U shape. Actually, I'd say it's almost more like a C shape. So we do have a courtyard area that's in the center of the two dwellings, which is really nice. And we're really excited to landscape that. And as you might be able to tell right now, I'm still in our current house. So we have not moved yet because we are completely, completely renovating both the annex and the main part of the barn conversion. So we just made it to the farm and it is definitely looking like a construction site. Because we have so many changes that we wanna to do to the main part, we are renovating the annex rather quickly so that we can move in as soon as possible. And we currently have an estimated completion date for around the last week of February. So it's only a few more weeks before we potentially get to move in. It's starting to really come along. So tomorrow I'm going to be bringing you to the farm so that you can get the first glimpse at how the construction is going. Everything has been ripped out of the whole interior of both the annex and the main part. The new layout and floor plan of the annex has been put in. They've done the electrics, they've done the plastering, and I think they've laid down the tiles. So I can't wait to show you guys that. So yeah, I guess there's just so much to tell you, but basically we are completely changing everything. The floor plan is completely different. We, we need to make it work for us. For example, to live in the annex for now, make sure it can accommodate both myself, Ben, and my brother Josh, who is now moved here and living with us. And then of course, the main part of the barn is going to be mine and Ben's home for the future, where we potentially might have a family. So it needs to be able to accommodate all of that. And as of right now, the plans are looking incredible and it does feel like it's going to be our ultimate dream house. Okay, so now that I've given you the sort of um, preliminary information, I'm now going to go into more of the details. So as I said, we're renovating the annex to move into as soon as possible. I've literally chosen everything for the annex down to the paint colors, the tiles, the kitchen, the layout. Obviously that was one of the first things that we decided on so that we could plan kitchen, bathrooms, everything else. The lighting, yesterday I spent all day just finishing up the last 25% of ordering all of the lights because a few weeks ago previously I had started the whole process for ordering all of the lights. It honestly, doing this renovation could be a full-time job. And we are actually working with architects as well, which I think is absolutely necessary for a project this big and this complicated. And they've been incredible so far, like honestly invaluable. We're so, so happy. But of course, like I'm the one making all of the decisions. Ben works so much and he's already like kind of straining himself to be able to do all the things that he needs to do. So he he's actually in charge of, we've decided he's in charge of everything outside. I'm in charge of everything inside. So I make, literally every single decision for the layout and like I said all the aesthetic details but I'm honestly beyond grateful to be able to have this as a project I get to do it's like a dream come true on top of already a dream come true at the farm so yeah it's just incredible and I cannot wait to explain and just show you guys everything all of the choices that I've made that being said I have done everything online. I think I saw one showroom for furniture and that's it. And I've chosen like paint colors, everything. I'm really proud of myself for that. I credit myself as being an expert online shopper. I think I'm quite good at seeing a picture online and being able to imagine it in person, but we'll have to cross our fingers because I haven't seen anything being put in yet. Oh yes, yeah, so I've also ordered all of the furniture for the annex as well. So it's gonna be completely kitted out, assuming all the deliveries go as planned by the day that we move in. We're gonna have everything in. It's gonna be great. And I'm really happy with all the things that I've ordered. Obviously it would have been difficult to show you guys that process because I would have just been filming myself at my computer and I have to be really efficient with everything. There's only just a few finishing touches, a few of the very last decisions that have to be made, including silly one, but a fun one, which is choosing the wallpaper for mine and Ben's annex bedroom, as well as the ensuite bathroom. Um, I just got in a few more wallpaper samples today, which is, which is good, it helps me. I find with colors, you really have to see them in person. So I have my Faro and Ball here, I'll show you. I've got my like paint swatches here and I've got all of the wallpaper samples to make sure that 
I'm choosing the right one. And although I have the samples, which is amazing, I am just choosing them based off of how they look in pictures online. So, um, but I, honestly, I think I think it will be fine. I'm pretty confident. So, but you guys will have to let me know what you think and give me a grade in the end. So I can almost close the book on the annex and we will live in there for, I'd say around six months. And during that six months, we're hoping to get all of the work done on the main part of the barn. So far, as I've mentioned before, it's only just been stripped out and we pretty much decided on the plans for the layout. We still haven't absolutely confirmed that yet. And then once that's done, I need to do things like, I need to pick out the flooring, like tiles, and we want some hardwood flooring. And I need to meet with kitchen designers to design the kitchen. I think we're gonna go all out in our main part of the barn and do kind of a bespoke kitchen which is gonna be amazing it will be so much fun to design it completely myself and have it work exactly how I want it to in the annex for both saving a bit of the cost and for speed we decided to go with the high street kitchen so we I think we chose ours from Howden's and but it's still really nice and I can't wait for you guys to see that that should be going in in the next week or so I'd say. So once the plans are confirmed for the main barn and I've chosen all of the flooring, I've chosen the kitchen and any sort of built-in furniture that we want, then it comes down to the aesthetic details, paneling on the walls, cladding, paint colors, wallpapers and that sort of thing. And all while this is going on, I also need to be planning furniture so I'm actually looking at the whole process as a big project and I try to separate it room by room of course I've got a Pinterest board full of ideas that is very very organized which makes it a lot easier with COVID furniture deliveries are so delayed like it takes months and months and months to get something that you've ordered especially when you buy say for example a custom sofa where you're choosing the fabric etc it takes so long so we really need to be mindful of that and make sure that I'm checking delivery times throughout the process so that when we do move in we have furniture and I did that really well for the annex so I'm very pleased with myself it was very much trying to keep tabs on everything all at once this project has taught me organization because I'm kind of a chaotic person. I really don't think I'd be able to do it without that skill, to be honest. And I've got file folders with all the samples and everything like that, and a record of all of the lights that I'm, I've ordered for each room in the annex and furniture delivery times. So there's some self-development in there as well. With the help of our architects, we've chosen a floor plan that we can adapt so that we can make the most of the space now when it's all three of us living in the annex. The floor plans that we've decided for the annex and how it connects to the main part of the barn as it stands now is not the final plans in particular there's an upstairs portion which is the only upstairs there's two bedrooms with each with an ensuite when we move into the annex those will be mine and ben's bedroom and josh's bedroom but when we finish the construction and we move out those two rooms will be taken away from the annex and added back into the main part of the barn that way josh isn't going to be left with a bunch of rooms that he isn't going to use and then ben and i can use those rooms for a purpose for example my office and my dressing room i wanted to explain that a little bit because i might be referring to them as this is our bedroom now but it will turn into my office etc so I just wanted to explain that but other than that I think that's everything so I'm gonna leave you guys and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for the full in-person update and tour good morning <laughs> good morning someone's excited someone's excited to go to the farm bye Meepy. see you later Stepping on a roller coaster Going down, but I never felt this high Biggest ride of the century Wanna drop into the ocean Wanna feel like we're the only ones around But I'm lost, you got me clueless
made it to the farm and it is definitely looking like a construction site. But I'm gonna show you guys the view because that's always beautiful. So serene. No, not yet. So so here we've switched the entry point of the garage from inside the courtyard to, to the outside because this is going to be our driveway and we're going to do the courtyard up more like a garden area, which will be really nice. Ben's standing in what is to be our gym. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. He's saying that this is going to be a really nice sun trap, so it will be a really nice warm place because we're protected from the wind inside the courtyard. I can't believe like this was all a really big slope and instead we're having it in two sections. Oh yeah, so this is actually my office window, so it used to be a door and they've switched it up, <laughs> filled in the hole with the stone. So as I was saying with the U shape, so it, it's actually more like a C shape to be honest if you count the garage here. But this whole area is the main barn, this here. So this big shape here is the main barn and the views, the nicest view is over on that side. And then this here is the annex, so it runs along that way. And then we also have the two upstairs rooms here as part of the annex until we um, finish the main section and then the main section will then take those two upstairs bedrooms back so then this whole area will be the main barn and mine and Ben's living accommodation. So if I take you in here this is going to be where the gym is so we have really high vaulted ceilings which will be really nice and we're going to do cladding all in the gym and the reclaimed sort of timber cladding all on the top there so it's going to look amazing i'm so excited we're going to have pendant lights hanging down i'm going to do them really sort of rusticy barn pendant lights and then this section which used to be a bedroom i believe and we've taken this on to be the gym as well um so that we would have enough space for all of our equipment but it's really nice i think to have it in two rooms so this is going to be where the machines are i think i have visuals to show you guys um that the architects have done up yes this is going to be all machines and then this is going to be more of the free weight section we're having window lights which is going to be amazing and then this whole thing is going to be glass so we're going to get tons of light in the gym it will be great of course one of the first things that we had to do was decide on our gym and make sure that we are building that into the plan. We're setting down a mat so that we're not going to be walking. Oh, the tile looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. That's the bathroom. Okay, so we're entering into the annex now. Yeah. Can just like step. Yeah. Okay, so we're... Yeah. So this is the entryway to the annex. Now this bathroom used to be out quite a bit further. You can probably see here, this is the new plaster that's been put on and the wall has been moved back. So we have a much bigger entryway area so that we have room for all of our coats and shoes. And we did buy a couple of pieces of furniture to go along here to make sure that we have room for everything. And then this door here will take us into the gym. So that's technically kind of shut off from the gym. 
and I don't want to step on the tiles because they're beautiful limestone tiles that have not been sealed yet. And then if we turn to the right from the entryway, this is the way into the kitchen with the living room beyond. And so our kitchen's gonna go in here. And honestly, it's quite a big kitchen space. So it will be really nice for all three of us. I feel like it's even bigger than the one that we have currently. And then I don't wanna walk on the tiles, but if we look around here, that room is going to be the utility room with our washer and dryer. Maybe if I just tiptoe, it will be okay. So, okay, we're across. The tiles look amazing. So that's down the hallway there. This room at first is going to be Ben's office. And beyond there, that is actually now the main part of the barn but we're keeping that part in the distance there sorry it's not a good view we're keeping this part so that we can get up to the two bedrooms in the meantime when we're all living in the annex so that again that's the utility room here it's all coming together and this is the living room so we do have nice views out of the living room Right now it's all full of all the plumbing, the appliances, the kitchen, the sanitary ware, etc. We have this fireplace here which is going to get plastered over. And this is where we'll have our sofa and it will be our chill room and our TV is going to go up here. It's beautiful. So here's Ben's office. It's a nice big room for him. So this is gonna double as his dressing room as well because we just won't have the space in the bedroom. So he's gonna have um, storage all along here and then his office section is gonna be here. So he's got plenty of room for all of his things. And then if we walk through into this section here, this is now into technically the main part of the barn, but as for right now, this is gonna be part of the annex when we move in because we need the extra space. So if we go through here, this is my little office study room. So it is quite small, but it's definitely big enough for me to have a desk in here and a little bit of storage. So this is just gonna be my office for just me. And then Josh's desk is gonna be upstairs in his bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this used to be a door, so they built it into a window which is nice i get a really nice view of the farm <laughs> well once the construction is done it will be really nice and yeah i've got plenty of room in here and then this is sort of the under the stair area as you can see here and then this used to connect into the main part of the barn but that's shut off for now as this is still part of the annex at the beginning it's probably a little bit confusing then if we go upstairs this is where all of our bedrooms are so this is a loft space a loft conversion sorry so if we go up here we have a little stair landing area with a little skylight and then this room here is josh's room so he's got the biggest room actually because it's going to double as his office so it's going to be entirely his space in here it's got two big windows and quite a big space around here i don't know if it's showing up on camera but it is it is pretty big um, and then this area here he could potentially use to put his bed in or he could use that as his office space and put his bed over here so he's got tons and tons of room here um, and then this is his ensuite bathroom and what i didn't know is that we are having underfloor heating in the bathrooms, which is great, because um, the tiles will probably be very cold. And then if at the top of the stairs, if you turn to the left, this is mine and Ben's bedroom. So the doorway used to be here on this side. We moved it over to this side to maximize space. If we come in here, this is our room. So it is quite a bit smaller but this is just gonna be the room that we sleep in and it's got space here for me to store my clothes. So I'm gonna have built-in wardrobes along this wall here, all the way to the top for lots of storage. And our bed is going to go along this wall here. And then this is the bathroom that I was talking about. 
So you can see we've got the sloped ceilings here because this is a loft conversion. My dressing table is gonna go right here. And through here is our bathroom and we've got quite a big bathroom. So I'm very much willing to sacrifice bedroom space for bathroom space because I love a big bathroom. So we're gonna have our shower in here. So we do have quite a large shower space that the ceilings are high enough. And our vanity unit is gonna go here. We've got the wiring for three little lights, as you saw in the picture. We're gonna have paneling all around the room. It's gonna look great. Toilet's gonna go over there. And we've still got a little bit of storage space if I wanted to put a little um, unit over here for storage. So very, very happy with that. So that is the completed tour of the annex. So I'm back round into the courtyard and I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the main part of the barn. And again, this is gonna be mine and Ben's final living space, whereas Josh is going to be taking over and living in the annex apartment. This won't be our entryway, but this is the courtyard door that takes us directly into the kitchen of the main barn. So it's all stripped out now. I'll show you guys some before pictures. We've got beautiful oak trusses in the ceiling and huge vaulted ceilings. It's just incredible. We love it. So this is where the Aga used to be. We're gonna build it back in there, but just a little bit differently than one, than how it was originally. And our kitchen is going to pretty much stay the same here with the island in the same place as what the previous owners had it. It's just gonna be a completely different kitchen. You'll notice here, these are all of our radiators for the annex. So they're just being sprayed now to go in when they're ready to be put in. And basically we haven't done anything in the main part of the barn other than stripping it out. So the walls are still in their original places and they will get moved eventually as well as windows getting changed over and bigger. So lots of exciting progress still to come. So this area that I'm currently standing in here, so if we trace along this line here, this is gonna be where the dining table is. So it's gonna be a very open concept kitchen. And then this over here is going to become the living space where we have the best view out to the garden, to the pond and beyond. This is the most exciting part, honestly. I cannot wait and we're gonna have bigger windows. It's gonna be great. Being able to sit here and relax in the kitchen living area and look out at the incredible views. And I cannot wait to put bigger and better windows in here so that we can maximize on it. We're also going to be building in a fireplace here, really excitingly. So there'll be one here where we'll be able to sit down and chill, have the view on this side and a beautiful fireplace over on this side. And this doorway here goes into the entryway area. So this is going to completely change. That's their, their old pantry there. Kind of looks like a closet, but it used to be their pantry. And this room is going to get completely switched over to a beautiful boot room. As you come in, there's gonna be there's gonna be a dog shower, it's gonna be great. On this side, this was a study for them, but this is going to become our utility room. They have a door there, but we're gonna have a door kind of over in this area. And the bathroom's gonna stay in the same place. I think it's just gonna be made a bit smaller and the doorway is going to be switched over here. And then if we walk through and if we walk all the way through the kitchen on the other side, we come into this area here, which was another entryway for them. And they have a bathroom back here. But what we're going to do is switch this space over. This is actually going to be a hallway all the way through. And Ben's office is going to be here so that he can have beautiful views when he's working at his desk. Then if we come through this room, this is the snug that I was showing you guys from the outside. So we still have such a nice space here. We are going to be tapering this room in quite a bit. So I think here is where we're gonna be building Ben's wall to his office. So it's gonna be 
going all the way through there so he's got tons of space and this room is going to become a little bit cozier and smaller which i think will be nice because we will have the option of a nice big open living space on that side to lounge in or if we want to go somewhere a little bit smaller cozier and darker then we can come to this snug area so we will be switching this fireplace over to something a little bit different making it a little bit bigger but it will stay in the same location then if we come through over here this is where the first guest bedroom is going to be so the second bedroom so it's currently just a room with a separate main bathroom here, but we're going to build the two together and this will be more of the ensuite bathroom. Obviously this is going to be completely changing. We've got stairs going up here and this is going to be mine and Ben's master bedroom area. You can see here that's where it connects over to the annex. So this will be mine and Ben's master bedroom. It's gonna, that wall is gonna be knocked back and we're gonna take over all of that space there. It's gonna be a huge room. This little bathroom area is going to get knocked out and removed. And instead we're going to be taking this loft space up here. So we're gonna have a little staircase going into our ensuite. It's gonna be really cool. I think that's all I can pretty much show you guys for today. I think that was a lot anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and found it interesting. And of course you can ask me questions and I'll try to answer the questions as I continue to vlog. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of everything so you can kind of see what we're working with. Stepping on a roller coaster Going down, but I never felt this high Biggest ride of the century